Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Sharon Ashmon. Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything educational and inspirational. Now, as the title suggests, to, tonight we're going to be looking at uh, the PEP ability test and we're specifically going to focus on verbal reasoning, right? So we're this lesson is um, aimed at getting students prepared for the verbal reasoning aspect of the PEP ability test. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to log right into the Learning Hub. We're going to use the Learning Hub website to help us with this aspect of our PEP preparation. All right, so I am going to log into the Learning Hub. There we go. And remember students, you can register for the Learning Hub starting at only $1,500 for three months. You can't beat that. So uh, parents, call our office 926-1221 to see how you can get your um, child enrolled on the Learning Hub. All right, a few things I want to point out before I jump into the lesson. Now, this is the Learning Hub home screen. Notice we have a weekly leaderboard. So these are the students who are doing really well. These are the students who are on, they're using the program. And whenever they use the program, we um, track their scores. So if they take a quiz, if they participate in a live chat, if they read notes, once they're doing um, work on the Learning Hub, we track what it is they're doing and we award them points. And we select the top 10 students from around the Caribbean and we recognize them on our leaderboard. Now, if you do not get recognized on the leaderboards, that's not a problem. Um, we have your individual gamification section where you actually get your points and you can use your points to purchase real items, okay? So, I have four points in my wallet. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm a newbie. So um, you can actually purchase learning hub pens, pencils, digital top up. You can purchase pizza vouchers, depending on how many points you have in your wallet. Okay. So um, we actually reward you for doing work. And that is just so awesome. So tonight I am going to jump right into the ability test and we are going to be taking. So notice something, guys. This is the grade six platform and you, you have access to every single thing that is on your curriculum. All right. Let me show you that quickly. So um, if you go to, let's say you go to language arts pep, this is the entire, hold on a second, let me get the learning material. Uh, what a learning material for language arts pep, not language arts, but we're looking for language arts pep. Right. All right. So I'm gonna come back to language arts um, for PEP and I'm gonna jump right into our ability test so that I don't take up the time and just show you the entire platform. I think I'm going to leave that for um, another session. So I'm gonna jump right into the ability test like we said we were going to do. And I'm gonna show you that you have learning material and these are notes, these are videos, these are animations that you can actually use to help you to prep for the exam. And you also have access to our workbooks and you also have access to our quizzes. So I'm going to jump right over to the quizzes section. All right, this is what I wanted to do tonight. So I'm not going to spend time showing you the system. I'm going to do that another time. So the quiz section, I want to jump quickly onto a verbal reasoning quiz and I'm going to do it with my um, friends on Facebook. So I hope you have logged in and I hope you have told your um, friends about our live class. And we're going to take quiz, verbal reasoning quiz one, and we're also going to take verbal reasoning quiz number seven. So let's go. Verbal reasoning quiz one. And I've already taken this quiz. I'm going to retake. So I click retake. And once I hit retake, 
you'll notice that the questions come up and you know I'm, I'm given an opportunity to answer the questions live. I have 10 minutes and I can submit and the computer is going to grade my test. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give everybody on Facebook a chance to take this test, um, Verbal Reasoning Quiz 1. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to take it in five minutes and then I am going to take the quiz on the system and we're going to discuss it afterwards. So go right ahead. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see better, okay? So it says, think about how the first pair of words are related to each other. Then look at the next word and choose the word that is related to it in the same way. So the first one is pumpkin, vine, pear. What is pear related to? Okay, guys, I am seeing that you're not seeing my screen. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys, you weren't seeing my screen. I am really sorry about that. So let's go over that. All right, so. So we're in the ability test because I'd already pulled that up. And that's the first question. So I want you to think about the first pair of words which are related to each other. Then you're gonna look at the next word and choose the word that is related to it in the same way. We have eight minutes remaining. So let's go quickly. So pumpkin and vine. And then I want persons to put question number one. And I wanted to put the answer. All right. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I realized you weren't seeing anything. I didn't share my screen. Totally sorry. All right. So let's hurry up because we can't afford if if on the learning hub, if you're not finished on time, the computer is just going to stop and read the word. Question number two, broom to dirt, rake to what? Quick, quick. All right, let me see if you can, let me see if I can pull that up a little bit more. All right. All right, we have to hurry. So question number three, let's look at question number three. Um, web to spider, nest to what? Guys, you need to put question one, what? Question two, what? Because we're going we're gonna, to gonna actually go back through the paper when we're done. All right, so let's hustle. We're hustling tonight. Question number four, apple, core, corn, what? All right, moving that along. Spring, summer, fall, what? Spring to summer, fall to what? All right. Uh, we're not going to let the computer just grade us. Scarecrow to hay, snowman to what? What is snowman two? It's number six. Number seven, apple to red, corn to what? What is corn to? Number eight, Africa, continent, Jamaica. What is Jamaica? Number nine, cow, mammal, chicken, what? Feather, egg, bird, cook. And number 10, goldfish, oops, goldfish aquarium, horse, what? Okay. All right. So we're going to submit this test because we are going to say we're finished. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. So it's telling me that I haven't answered any questions, which I didn't answer the questions. Let me see the time remaining. Okay, I have five minutes. I can do this in five minutes. All right, I'm going to return to the test and I'm going to do it quickly. No, guys, I'm not necessarily going to choose the correct answers. I'm just going to do the test. As a matter of fact, I'm going to deliberately try to get everything wrong. So I'm going to say rake, cleans, nest, cat. Apple to core, corn, I'm going to say to trash. Spring to summer, fall, I'm going to say year. 
uh, scarecrow to hay, snowman, I'm gonna say winter, apple to red, corn, I'm gonna say red, Africa the continent, Jamaica, I'm gonna say parish, cow to mammal, chicken, I'm gonna say egg, goldfish to aquarium, horse, I'm gonna say forest, and I'm gonna click on finish, and I'm gonna click on finish. So now you notice the system is telling me, are you ready to have your test graded? You have answered 10 of 10 questions and I'm ready, so I'm gonna click on finish and it's gonna grade me. And I anticipate that I'm gonna get everything wrong. <laughs> we did that deliberately. All right, so here's what I wanna do. That's how the system works, right? So, I mean, every day, if you're, if you're logged onto the learning hub, you can actually just um, enter the system and take a quiz on a particular topic. So if you're working on your verbal reasoning, you can take quizzes on that. If you're working on your arithmetic reasoning, you can take quizzes on that. Anything you want to work on to help with your ability test, you can actually log on to the platform and take quizzes on that. That is absolutely awesome. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I want to just pull up individual questions. Notice I got everything wrong deliberately and I'm gonna pull up question number one. And then we're going to talk about it. Okay, so notice the system actually tells you what the correct answer is. All right, so what I want my friends on Facebook to do, and we're going to reason it out, I want you guys, let me see what you have for question number one. Ah, so Tanisha McLean says, Pear Tree, I'm going to go back up and I want to see what persons had for question one. Okay. Question number one. Guys, remember, um, I want you to put the question number. The question number, okay? All right. I see you guys saying that you're excited. Um, Julian Henry saying that this is the best class in the world. Yes, guys. Um, okay. It's, all right. So, yes, I see you couldn't have, you couldn't see my screen. Question one is three. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just talk about each question, why we're getting what we're getting. All right. So guys, here's what I want you to do for me. Um, I want you to tell me why question number one is three. So pumpkin, vine, pear, tree. Why is question number one three? That's what I want you to tell me. Why? So yeah, we know that question one is three. The system is even telling us that question one is three. But why is it three? Why is question one three? That's what I want to see. I want you to tell me why question one is three. And because it's so late, it's 9.23, I'm only going to go up to 10 o'clock tonight. But why, guys? Why is question one three? Come on. Ah, yes. Because, all right, so pear grows on three. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the reason why. So pumpkin, pumpkin grow on a vine, and pear grow on a tree. All right, very good. So broom, dirt, rake, what? All right, so let me help you with question number two. Or let me see if you have the answer. Question number two. Why is it um, broom, dirt, and rake to leaves? Why is that? Broom to dirt, rake to leaves. Why? Why are we saying broom, dirt, rake, leaf? Okay, yes, Tamika, you got it right. Nadia, mm-hmm. Andre Livingston. Yeah, you guys are just bright, unique. All right, uh-huh. See, you're getting it right. Let me just put up all your smart people. Very good. Um, Tamika, very good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sarah Henry Taylor, why? Right. So broom is mainly used to sweep dirt, and rake is really used for leaves. Yes, that is correct. The purpose, that's the reason why we're looking at the purpose. All right, web, spider, nest. Why is it bird? Why is it bird? Web, spider, what's the association? Web, spider, nest, bird, why? Yeah, come on, guys. Web, spider, Next, and for that answer, we had bird. All right, so, but you have to tell me the association though, guys. You have to tell me the association. Why are we saying bird? Ah. Yes, so 
a spider lives in a web in a web and a bird um so so i would say the home so the the, the home of the spider is a web and the home of the bird is the nest <laughs> all right guys i see all your i see all the answers on facebook all right we're moving right along so tonight is a is a tonight is a class that we're just moving along you know we're not starting apple core corn why is it cub why is it cub for corn why is it cub for corn why is it cub yeah see you get it right julian yes you get it right y'all marking ourselves and you know my my um my facebook fans are not easy and marking themselves all right but we'll move on to question number what question is that now apple core corn and we're saying the answer is cob and we're asking why is it corn cob right cob is on the inside yeah mm -hmm. it's jojo yep correct um the inner or middle section guys you are really smart right so you have to look for the association because you're, you're rejecting stock you're rejecting trash and you're rejecting all the others because you're saying what's the association between apple and core we're talking about the innermost part where you have the black seeds and then so you have to find the association between corn and the, the options that are there very good guys awesome you guys are getting ready for this exam. So we're not letting COVID stop us. Remember, we said that already. And guys, remember to share the video, right? Upload it to your Facebook page and share it. Yes, Samara, I know you guys love the class and I love teaching you guys too. Guys, let me tell you, it's today's Sunday. And if I didn't come on for half an hour, you guys would kill me. My phone is just blown up. Miss, are we having class tonight? I love that. I love when students are so enthusiastic about learning. Awesome. All right, so let's go. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it's not because it is grown on the cob. <laughs> cob is in the inside. Yeah, the innermost parts. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next question. All right. Let me see how you reason this one out. Spring, summer, fall. And the answer is winter. Why? Spring, summer, fall. And the answer for that one is winter. Okay. W what's the reasoning behind that one? Yes, Karine, thank you for loving the class. I love teaching you guys as well. All right. Um, spring, summer, fall, and we are saying the answer is winter. Why? Yeah, we know it's seasons, but there is an association. Why isn't it winter, spring? Spring, summer, we get snow. Samara, who comes to reach us snow? We're talking about, ah, very good, Lisa. Let me put up your answer. All right, so you have spring, then you have summer, and then fall, then you have winter. So winter follows fall, like summer follows spring. Yes, very good, okay? The order in which they come awesome jojo jojo i you're the smart okay all right let's move on to the next one all right scarecrow hey snowman scarecrow hey snowman what is it? what's the answer for that one why do we have scarecrow hey and snowman snow Why you hate your Wi-Fi, Charlotte Solomon? <laughs> We're grateful that we have Wi-Fi and we can have um, live classes. <laughs> All right, guys. Scarecrow, hey. Snowman. Yes. So, snowman is made of snow. Um, and, yes, yeah, Scarecrow is made of hay. Very good, guys. So, it's the material that they're made of. Awesome. You guys are really smart. All right. Let's move right along. 
Um, so we have question number seven, apple, bread, corn, what? Question number seven. Yeah, yes, Andre, the material that's used to me them. Mm -hmm. Apple, bread, corn, what is corn? And the answer is yellow. So what is it? Why, why are we saying it's yellow? Come on, we're at question, we're at the question with apple, red, and corn. Yes, the color, the color, very good. Yeah, the color. All right, let's look at this. All right, Africa, continent, Jamaica, and the correct answer is island. So I want you to tell me why is island? Why aren't we saying Jamaica city or Jamaica parish? or Jamaica continent, why is it Jamaica Island? Why is it Jamaica Island? Come on guys, we're at Jamaica Island. Why is it Africa continent, Jamaica Island? Tamika, Jamaica is an island, <laughs> land of wood and water. <laughs> yes, it is, but <laughs> island because Jamaica has a lot of islands. <laughs> All right, I want to see the reason why it is, what, what's the association between Africa, continent, Jamaica, island. I'm not seeing, not even one person giving me a, the correct answer. I'm reading all the answers and I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing um, Jamaica is surrounded by water, okay. Jamaica, Miss um, Nayuka. Awesome. Welcome, Nayuka. I said big. All right. Okay, come, let me see some reasoning. It is surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. Yeah, that's a fact. All right, so come on, guys. I'm not getting, I'm looking for something. Jamaica's an island. Yeah, we know that. It's not location. All right. Nice try, though. Surrounded by water. It is surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. Yes. But what's the reason? What's the association? You're in the PEP exam. I used to see that question. What came to your mind? What's, what's the association? Why did you say, um, why did you say, um, why did you choose island instead of um, instead of city or parish? All right, let me help you out. So it's a type of landmass, okay? So you know that Africa is a continent, and the type of landmass that Jamaica is is an island, okay? All right, so let's move on to the next question. Question number nine. Yeah, man, tonight we'll move along fast. Cow, mammal, chicken, okay? What's the answer for that? I want to see the reasoning. So I already know it's bird, but what's the reasoning? Right, type of landmass, Fabian Taylor. I know this person, Mr. Taylor, teacher down. Uh, Mr. Taylor, you know, Mr. Taylor is a teacher. What is it? Maldon? Fabian Taylor. Um. Mr. Taylor, remind me now. So Taylor, you know that you can't be answering doing that because you know all the answers. All right. Welcome, Mr. Taylor. All right. So, yes. So I see you're talking about, um, we're talking about now cow is a mammal and chicken. What's the association?
Okay. It's oh, so you're saying it's a group name. A chicken is a bird type. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna take type. So type of animal. We'll work with that for now. All right. Okay. And let's see now. Goldfish aquarium horse. What is that? Goldfish aquarium horse. Why are we choosing barn? Why are we choosing barn for um horse? Uh, all right, so why are we choosing horse for, uh, sorry, barn for horse? Yes, where they live and grow. Yes, very good. Who, who said that? Let's put you up on the screen. Tamika William. No, who said where they live and grow? Kadeen Gordon. Awesome. All right, guys, I suspect you have to go. It's 9.36. I'm not going to keep you much longer. All right, so um, it's really... Uh, awesome to see students actually calling me and sending me whatsapp that they want to have a class before bed um that's that's a good sign guys um our classes for facebook live is supposed to be on tuesdays and thursdays if i follow you guys i'm on every night so we'll see about tomorrow but our official class is tuesdays and thursdays and it's kept on the learning hub facebook page as well as the pep facebook page all right all right guys thank you so much for joining um, remember, all this content that we used tonight came from the Learning Hub. And guys, listen, you can't afford not to be on the Learning Hub now because you have thousands of quizzes that you can use to sharpen you for the PEP exam. All right. Look in ability tests alone. You can, you can actually sit down here and you can go through tons of quizzes. You can come home, you can do quantitative reasoning. Remember, your exam is quantitative reasoning and verbal reasoning, right? But we use other tools to sharpen your critical thinking skills, all right? So guys, just to make sure you tell your parents that you, know, you want to be on the Learning Hub. Starts at uh, $1,500 for three months. You're talking about $500 a month, all right? Remember too that I have classes in the evenings and um, those classes are held on Zoom. The rate for my classes, $2,000 per month if you can afford to pay. If you cannot afford to pay, you can just come for free, all right? So if you want more information, you can WhatsApp me. The number is scrolling below, 3517777. I mean, all Jamaica, you are welcome. I mean, students, if you're sitting the PEP exam, you're welcome to come to my class. Can afford to pay. $2,000 for the month. You can't afford to pay. I'm talking to the parents now. You send your child just the same for free. WhatsApp me and I'll send you the Zoom link or somebody from the office will send you the Zoom link. All right, guys, have a great rest of the evening and I'll see you tomorrow on Zoom at four o'clock. We'll have our social studies class and at five o'clock, we'll have our ability test class and all my classes are free. So if you need help with social studies, you can join. If you need help with ability tests, you can also join. The only thing that you must bring, you have to have the workbooks. So we're not going to let you in the class without the PEP workbooks. Let me show you what those um, look like. So for the ability test class, one second, guys. For the ability test class, you need to have this workbook. And you need to have the quantitative reasoning book. You need to have these. And for the social studies class, this is mandatory. All right. So no money, no problem. But you need to have the books. You need to come prepared with your tools. And you can get these books at Kingston Bookshop or um, Brian's Bookstore or Sanctus Bookstore or any of the major bookstores in Jamaica. All right, guys. Um, see you tomorrow in uh, my Zoom class at 4 o'clock. Have a great rest of the evening.